Hello world, welcome to another video. My name is Marlon and today I'm gonna to be doing a traveling vlogging kit video. This is what I like to travel with. This is my traveling kit as far as camera equipment goes and what I use to do my travel vlogs. First, I'm gonna start off by going over the cameras that I, I, that I actually use and why I like to use these cameras. And uh, then I'll just go over some of the other equipment that I also bring along on my trips. So first things first, I'm gonna start off with the Canon, my point and shoot camera. This is my go-to. Canon G7X. It's a very popular camera. A lot of YouTubers use this for vlogging and uh, I still use it a lot. Only thing I don't like about it now and it's only because I'm trying to upgrade my equipment is that it doesn't have 4K. And I know a lot of people are going to say well not everybody has 4K TVs, 4K monitors. That is perfectly fine. I understand that. I am just trying to have uh, the best quality video so you know, in a couple years when I look back, these videos that I'm making are in 4K and high quality, ultra high def uh, quality. So that's the only reason why at this point, because HD 1080p works perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but that's just me kind of, you know, just thinking ahead of time. Eventually, uh, that's the direction where uh, videos is going is into 4K anyway. This is actually my my second camera now, my, my backup camera actually. We're gonna go ahead and move into the uh, Panasonic Lumix G7. Uh, it is a great camera. I love this camera, guys. You guys have no idea. It's a little bit bigger, obviously, than a point and shoot. It's a mirrorless camera, but uh, the 4K video on this is unbelievable. I, I really like this camera. And um, for the money, it's a great uh, budget 4K camera, in my opinion. And I plan on doing a review on this, so I'll get more into that later on in a different video but this is the uh, G7 by uh, Panasonic. It's a great camera. It has an articulating screen right here like that, and uh, you can change lenses on it as well. And speaking of lenses, the lens I have on this is the uh, Panasonic Lumix 12 to 35 millimeter 2.8. Uh, it is great uh, also. I really uh, like this uh, lens because it's great in low light and uh, it gives you great depth of field. Basically on my camera at 90% of the times because I vlog with this camera now, so I use this a lot for vlogging. It's wide and, and it has a great uh, range. And on mirrorless cameras, it, the crop uh, factor is 2.0. So it's really a 24 to 70 millimeter camera, or excuse me, lens. I bring other, other lens along for this camera. I have this uh, 25 millimeter Panasonic 1.7, 50 millimeter equivalent in uh, full frame cameras uh, because of the crop uh, factor again. This one I bring along because I like to shoot, you know, uh, take photos as well. So it's really, this is a really sharp lens. It's great for the extra range on it. It's great for portraits. Uh, I really like this little lens, it's light. And it costs, I think this one costs about 250 bucks, but I got it on sale over the holidays for $99, so I could not pass this one up. So recently I got this Rokinon 7.5 uh, fisheye lens. Very, very nice lens. Very small, very light as you can see. Uh, the build quality on this is fantastic. It's really solid. It's, this is more of a fun lens. I like to do street photography and stuff like that. So I like to mix it up a little bit. Um, and this type of lens like these, you know, you just it's up to you to get creative with them and have fun with them. So uh, this one is also a very, very nice lens to have for photography. And I guess I could shoot some video with it as well and get some cool shots with that fisheye effect. I have uh, extra batteries for the G7. For my G7X, I have three total uh, batteries. I bought the Rode Video Mic, uh, excuse me, the Rode Video Micro. Uh, this is a compact uh, microphone, and I have a, a separate video on this. You could click on the link right here uh, that I did for this one. It's a review. It brings a wind muff, and this is a great, great little microphone for the money. Great value. You just pop it onto your uh, your camera here, and uh, you know. This is a, a little bit bigger than, than what your, you know, point and shoot vlogging style, but the video quality is what really matters to me in the end, so that's why I don't mind it. Obviously, you kind of mix it up. You know, there's, there's going to be times where you take a point and shoot only, and I'm not always carrying all of this at once. Most of the time, I just have my G7 and my GoPro. I like to mix it up. I like to have these cameras with me in case for different situations, so I don't want to miss on any moment like that. So speaking of the GoPro, I have my uh, GoPro, the uh, GoPro Hero 4 Silver. Great little camera. I went with this one because of the screen. I really like the screen on this. It's a great action camera. I have several accessories that I'm gonna show you that I 
I vlog with with this, uh, and I'll go ahead and begin with the uh, Feiyu Tech uh, G4. This is a three-axis uh, handheld gimbal. So yeah, you put the uh, camera in here like that, and tighten these screws up, and uh, let me just turn it on. I don't have the batteries in. Oh, actually, I do. And so you have a really, you get the really nice smooth shots with these. Great. It's very compact, very small. Uh, I also have a video, I'll link it right here, uh, that I did on the Feiyutech uh, G4. This is a really, really nice little piece of equipment here. And for the G4 also, I got the uh, carbon fiber extension poles. I got two of these. You just screw these on like that. They're good for high shots. This is an excellent uh, gimbal uh, for the GoPros. I had got this uh, GoPro Venture case. It's a soft case, but it's waterproof and it's been really handy actually. I get all of my GoPro stuff in here without any issues. Uh, my, I got the, the black case, my uh, clear one broke, so I ended up buying a black one. And I have the uh, extra backs there for that. As you can see here, I put some extra batteries in here. I got uh, these uh, Wasabi uh, batteries for the GoPro are great. They're real uh, inexpensive on Amazon. And then I got two more. I got a total of five GoPro batteries. You want to make sure you have enough juice for all your camera equipment. Uh, and this has a nice pocket in here. You can add some more stuff in there. Uh, I got this GoPro uh, it's just for the, the mount your uh, GoPro on there. And you're all set with that um, if you want to jump into the pool with that. Another one of my favorite ones, uh, pieces of equipment for my GoPro is this uh, Sandmark. It's a 17 to 40 inch, uh, I guess, selfie pole. And the build quality on this is really, really, like, really solid, real good, real good quality. The uh, metal uh, knob here, and uh, you know, you can just mount this on here with the, uh, I got the, also the frame. I like using the frame a lot when I'm not in water and stuff like that because um, on the GoPro, if, if you have it in the case, it sounds kind of muffled. Here, the microphone is not uh, covered up, so the audio on your GoPro sounds really good. And can't leave home without the uh, suction mount uh, this thing is pretty amazing. It sticks onto the, your, your car, your windshield. Uh, haven't had any issues with that, thank goodness. And this one here is kind of a little hack. This is actually an egg timer from Ikea. I just put the uh, GoPro mount onto it. And you just turn it there. You put it on your uh, frame or your, uh, your, your regular GoPro camera, or excuse me, case. And then you just do time lapses like this. You get some really nice, smooth time lapses like this one right here. I'll show you right now. So this is a real cheap hack. It's about three, four bucks at Ikea. I got my cameras, my backup batteries, uh, the chargers. I always bring a little flashlight, you never know. A few other uh, accessories that I have for my uh, G7, my Panasonic G7, is this V-mount that you put onto the uh, camera right here. Uh, and then I got this Nanguang, I apologize. Nanguang CN uh, Lux 360 Lite. Nice and compact. So I can mount this onto here like that and my mic if I ever need to. And the, you know, I have that option. Uh, this little light's pretty good actually. It uh, brings two uh, filters, a magenta and an orange one also. I always bring some sort of uh, brush to, in case I can need to clean my camera lens and stuff like that. You never know. Got this little blower here for, for that as well. And uh, cleaning rag as well. Okay, and also I have this uh, Peak Design uh, clip. This thing is fantastic. It's pretty expensive though, but uh, it's really, really comes in really handy. This is called the Peak Design Capture Pro Camera Kit Clip. Excuse me, Camera Clip. And uh, you can mount, you can put this on your belt, on your backpack right here. You know, it's it's really good, and it has the uh, the plate here that you add to your camera, and you slide your camera in. It'll clip. It's really nice and secure. Brings a nice little pouch. Put that in there as well. Um, so this is a real good piece of equipment. And I have this uh, Anchor. This one is a PowerCore 20,100 milliamp battery. This thing's a beast. You can get several charges out of this. Charge your cell phone, your GoPro, your iPad. Um, so I always bring this one with me. Has a nice little pouch. And uh, it's charger, which I don't have with me right now. But uh, definitely good to have when you're traveling. You don't want to run out of juice. So moving right along, um, this is probably 
One of my favorite or most used pieces of equipment right here. This is called the Varizoom Stealthy Go. And I use this thing, I mean, I used to use it a lot with the uh, G7X. I put it on here, right here. It is so versatile and so convenient because this thing you can use in several positions, several modes. For example, if you want it on selfie mode, you just turn the camera like that, start vlogging, it extends a little bit like that. So you can, you know, do your selfie mode like that. Uh, let me turn it back around. If you need it down like this, put it like that, like that. So take some shots like that, place it on the table, whatnot. Or when you're filming, you can actually twist this, adjust it, and you have a very nice, stable shot like that. So that's one of the things I really liked about this. And you could also put it, have a three-point uh, of contact uh, setup with this. Extend this, and now you can you know, get some nice panning shots like that, real stable. Really, really convenient piece of equipment here. So if it's waterproof, you could use it in the water as well. As far as tripods, I do have a traveling tripod, and it's right here. This one is called the uh, Dolica, what is this one? Dolica TX570. It does not bring this head. This head right here is the GK, GK, G06. And I just uh, exchanged it from the one that it brings. Uh, but anyways, this is a very compact, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, tripod. I, I usually take the head off because it's not the head that came with it. Uh, but when you take it off, it packs up really small, uh, you know, really nice and compact. It's lightweight, and you don't have any uh, issues when you're traveling with it. You might think, where do where do I put all this stuff? Well, I have a really large camera ba backpack that I use, but I only use it to travel from point A to point B. When I'm actually out and about, when I'm traveling, I bring this camera or camera bag with me, and this is the Lowepro uh, Photo Hatchback 16L AW. This is a very compact bag, very convenient. As you can see here, it's real compact. You put your camera and your lens in here, and you have an extra space up here. You can put your lens, other stuff in here. In the front pouch, you can put your iPad in there as well. Uh, and it has these side pockets. You can put water bottles. Okay, so last but not least, I have the uh, Joby Gorillapod Focus, which brings this nice uh, ball head up top here. This thing is great. It's solid as a rock and it gives you the ability to uh, uh, get some really nice shots. Okay guys, so that's going to do it for this video. Again, this is the uh, equipment that I usually travel with. I don't always carry this at all, you know, at all at one time, but uh, I do bring it with me on my trips because I like to have the equipment available to me in case I uh, come up uh, across some different situations that I like to film and take uh, different photos. But uh, I'm interested in hearing what you guys travel with. Leave a comment down below. Um, and if you have any suggestions, please leave them down below as well. All right, guys. Again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Till the next video, take care.